Here's Zachary Gibson pedaling the pedal-powered prime mover. Zach's about to watch some television. We're going to set the television up two different ways. Direct drive, 12 volt DC, and also 110 volts through an inverter. And we're going to show you how much power it takes to run the television both ways. Zach? So I'm going to go turn the TV on. Right now, Zach is pedaling directly. 12 volt DC, straight into the television. Power comes from the pedal generator, down through the junction box, through this capacitor where Zachary can monitor the voltage. Nice steady voltage. And then it goes over to our power board. We're going to focus in on the what's up meter in the middle of the power board where you'll be able to see the amount of power being used. The watts are read out in the lower right hand corner. Volts in the upper right hand corner. Zach's a little low on the voltage but not bad. Amperage, upper left. Total watt hours. You can see Zach's been doing this for a while. On the left, in the lower corner. Now this is direct drive, 12 volt DC. The power is going in to the television set right there. Now we're going to convert the television to 110 volt through the inverter. I'll turn the TV off. Switch out the wiring. Plug in the inverter. and turn the television set back on. We're back to television again, but we're running through an inverter, and now you can see the amount of power required is slightly higher than it was before. And that's because of the power that's lost in the inverter being converted from 12 volt DC to 110 volt AC. In this case, the television set will run most effectively if it's powered directly off 12 volts. But Zach could watch TV all day at this pace. That is not a lot of effort for the pedal generator.